Hey guys, welcome to this month's edition of the Logan County Cougar News. I'm Bailey Hale and we've got a great show for you today. So let's jump right into it. First up, we'll go over to see the new Career and Technical Center and talk to the principal, Ms. Frog. What name will the new facility go by? It'll be the Logan County Career and Technical Center. Alrighty. How have the students reacted to the new facility? Just like they react to anything new. It's, it's, it's wide open. You, you walk down the hall and it's so light. Uh, it's, it's white and bright. So it's been exciting to see all the, the different comments. And each and every time I ask somebody how they feel when they walk in, it's so big. That's been the, the, biggest, the biggest comment. All righty. Uh, what are some new features I've, uh, to this facility? We've added new machinery in all of the, the uh, shops. In the machine shop, I'll start there since it's right here with us, uh, we've added six new CNC machines. And there is now, instead of six lathes, we now have 10. And then um, there's some other brand new um, laser cutters, plasma cutters. Uh, in, in welding, we've added 15 workstations, so they, they all have brand new welders in them. And there's a metal shear. There are two actually virtual welders, which gives our younger, younger students the opportunity to put a helmet on and uh, actually pretend to run a bead, or actually run a bead, actually, because they'll get a, a grade at the end of their lesson. But what that gives them the opportunity is before they ever hold a torch and, and start a flame, it, it actually gives them that same feeling. So, so it's like a virtual reality kind like of thing. It's like a virtual reality type oh, thing. thing. So it's pretty around. cool, yeah. yeah. There's a Miller uh, welder as well as a uh, Lincoln Electric. So film that. So. And then in um, electricity slash industrial maintenance, it's one teacher, two programs. There are two Fanuc robots. It's the same kind of robots they use at Magna and Bowling Green. So once the students go through his program, they'll be able to learn how to program those, which will be a useful certification when they go out into manufacturing. When you get down to automotive, we have six rotary lifts versus three that we used to have. We still have our hunter alignment machine. We also have brand new tire rotation machines or tire uh, balancing machines. And there's, there's new technology all over this building. In the two health rooms, we have 15 uh, hospital beds, just like they use in the hospitals, complete with the boards, headboards, with emergency call. And, and um, there's actually a nurse's station. So somebody can be trained to work there and be able to answer the emergencies that come along for the beds and actually go and provide help if needed. Students will learn those, those skills as well. And then in uh, IT, she has the capabilities to run her own cabling because we have a drop ceiling of trays. And so she'll be able to do her own networking and, and build their own network. And something new that she's going to offer next year, we, it's too late to offer it this year, but next year she's going to uh, create a gaming class where kids will learn how to, I see the smile, uh-huh. The, uh, create apps and learn to program a couple or three or four drones oh, we're going to add to the program that would be awesome so it will be and she's excited as well she's a new teacher so you have to go in and drop in on her and then we have uh, CAD you can see behind us that is his model room all the hoses that are hanging down are a uh, vacuum system because when those machines run there's sawdust flying so it's going to instead and noted all the glass so instead of it getting all dusty, mm -hmm. we've got a, a dust collection system. There's a brand new saw stop in there, so that way it's uh, a table saw. But if your finger gets close to the uh, blade, it will automatically shut down, the whole machine shuts down, so that's a safety feature. He also has uh, a brand new uh, 3D printer. He's also got another tabletop 3D printer, and we brought our existing 3D printer over from the old school. So, and you'll notice in each one of the classrooms, there are three interactive TVs hanging on the walls so that when you go into your Google Classroom or you actually do your work you, or whatever the teacher has lesson plans or objectives for the day, they're on those screens. 
is a new assembly room. So when we have our awards night, we don't have to rent out the extension office anymore. We can have our awards night here and that will give parents a chance to see what kind of environment their students have, have been taking part in all year long. The new career and technical center looks great. Now to Kevin with some calendar updates. Thanks Bailey. Our day to day that was scheduled for Monday, April 23rd will now be an attendance day for all students. Be sure to plan to be at school that day. Do you have an iPhone, Amazon Echo, Google Home, or Facebook account? If so, you'll be interested in this next story with Brandon. All of your devices can listen to you from your microphone if your device is hacked into. But not only hackers can listen, but the company that you bought your product from can listen to too. Amazon Echo, Google Home, Siri, and Facebook can listen to you as well. Echo and Google Home have been the main focus of this subject because there's a lot of customers that use these. They have children that use these and they are scared for their privacy. When you ask Siri a question, it keeps record of what you say and Apple, of course, will have access to these records. And now Apple has a feature where you don't have to hold your Apple product to have it answer a question and you can say, hey Siri. Facebook does ask for your permission for your microphone when you go live and there has been a video posted on YouTube about a man and a woman leaving their Facebook open and they were talking about how they could use some cat food. And they don't have a cat or any kittens. And, and exactly two days later, an ad for cat food popped up on their profile. To stop this from happening, you can mute your microphone on your phones and you can mute your mics on Google Home and Amazon Echo. Last week's junior met during CATS to let class representatives to set a goal for this year's ACT, which will be held on Tuesday, March 20th. The juniors have a lot to live up to because of last year's score of 20.3, which set a new school record. Now to the first installment of Karate Kevin, a story that follows Kevin through his eventful day encountering some school bullies. some interesting stories from the sports world. Coach Adler was just named the AP Coach of the Year, which is the highest annual honor for our high school football coach in the state. We also have spring sports like track, baseball, softball, and tennis all started up again. And we have received news that Riley Wharton has now broken every individual event record for the school. Thanks for watching.